Hi guys, so I only have a second to film this. Logish is in the other room watching soccer, and by soccer I mean football, and I have been trying to surprise him for so long, and he's actually really hard to surprise, and I really can't think of a whole lot of things that he would get excited about, but I have finally found something that I think he will like. So I asked my sister to come over and babysit the boys, and I am going to take him on a special date. Hey babe. What are you doing with the camera? I have a surprise for you. What surprise? I need you to go get dressed. Right now? Yeah, right now. The Liverpool game is about to be on. Well, I'm going to take you someplace that's probably even better than watching Liverpool. Where, where are we going? It's a surprise. So, like right now or can it be after the game? No, nope, we have to go right now because Hannah is coming over to watch the boys. Oh, oh, okay, so we're going out, out. We're wow. going out, out. Go get dressed. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Whew. Go. Okay, so this better be better than the Liverpool game or else I am in big trouble. Okay, we're going somewhere. I have no idea where we're going. Where are we going? We are going to a very special place called Killinese. Do you know what that is? Oh, Killinese! That's the um, the famous Singapore cafe. Mm hmm. Yeah. So they already, their branch right here is already open? Yeah, so they opened a new one in Palo Alto. Uh, one of our viewers actually messaged us telling us about it. Oh, wow. That's, That's awesome. Thank got you. Got some good intel. And I, I know it's not Malaysian food, it is Singaporean. But I thought it might satisfy your Southeast Asian food craving. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I mean, I the thing is, we have exhausted all the Malaysian restaurants here. I've gone to every single one of them so many times. So it is super nice to have a, an, new, option. a new option, basically, yeah. But Kilanis, whoa! So I've heard of Kilanis. It's super famous in Singapore. But I've, you know, never been to one before and now that's open here, that's, that's super exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. Is that a good surprise? That's a wonderful surprise. Okay, good. Can I still watch the Liverpool game though while we're there? No. Okay. Good call. Alright, so with COVID and everything, I really hope that they have a spot for us to sit and eat. I checked online, it does say there is outdoor seating, so there should be room for us. Okay. I think we're almost here. Yeah, it looks like it's here. This is it? Killing yeah, killing it. Can we order here yeah. and sit outside? Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Either okay. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for it. We're ready for it. Sure. Cool. Uh, so we'll have the bakute. Chocolate Chocolate Tiao. And for drinks, I'll have the kopi. kopi. Did you want the kopi iced or hot? Oh, I'll have it hot. Okay. Can I get the tea? Tea. Here's your table number. Thank you. All right, we'll have the tea. Number 14, one side of the room. Okay. Here's your receipt. We'll bring everything else here as a table, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like the Halloween theme going on over here. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a nice touch. Yeah, that is a nice touch. This one's the tin, this one's the copy. Perfect, thank, thank you. you. I like the style of it. So we don't get the Kopi TM cups. We don't get the Kopi TM cups, but maybe that's for the better because then these are larger size. Yeah. Taste test. Go first. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. Authentic? A little different. Again, I don't think I've ever had it in Singapore. I've only had tea in Malaysia. Uh -huh. But it has that very like earthy black tea taste to it, but it's not as thick in a way as Malaysian tea is. Okay. Whew. 
It's nice not wearing the mask on. I want to smell it. Ooh, let's look at the color. What did you order? Kopi, just a regular coffee. So it's made with condensed milk. Look okay. up. Mmm, it's good. It's not as thick as how it usually would be, but the taste is still there, like the authentic, bittery coffee taste and more pronounced uh, condensed milk behind. So that's, it's really good. I think it'd be a little bit better if it's a bit more like condensed and thicker, like in, when you get in the Kopi TM cup, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> There's some new Thank you. You have the chocolate tea mm -hmm. These are the Chinese donuts that go with the chicken congee. Oh, nice. mm -hmm. All right, here's some sambal chili for some heat. Nice. And then we have the soy sauce. And you guys already have your Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. First impression, kind of yeah. disappointed because we don't have actual plates. I know. Spoons, utensils to eat all this amazing food. But I'm not gonna complain because we have, at least we do have it. We can eat it outside. Yeah. Ooh. It looks nice. It's pretty authentic. What do you think? Ooh, it smells good. It too, smells huh? good. It yeah. Great. It's got that little bit of that burnt smell that Chakirtiao needs. So that's good. We'll try that. Okay. Bakute. Here we have the bakute. I mean, just the rice of the bakute. I'm not sure how we're gonna eat this, but we'll figure it out. Mm. Okay, okay. Smells decent. Looks decent. It looks very different from the bakute I've had in Kling. Mm -hmm. But Logis reminded me that Kling has the best bakute in the world, so I can't compare everything to that. Yeah. <laughs> Smells good though. And then, oh, Chinese donuts. yes, these smell really good. Yeah, they were nice enough to even give us a little sambal, so give us an opportunity to taste the sambal. You know, I'm a fan of sambal. You know what we're missing though? What? Fried shallots to have with oh, our bakute. Oh yeah, bawang goreng. It's okay, it's okay. <sighs> oh, well. So what do you want to try first? Let's do a chocolate with you first. Seems okay. like a easier one to eat. Getting ready, he's rolling up his sleeves. Yeah, my favorite charcoal tiao is the one in Klang from Malawi's. If you guys know that, you guys gotta try the charcoal tiao there. It's literally the best. It's my favorite. But I hear that Singapore Singaporeans make a mean charcoal tiao, so we'll see. Hmm. It's not going on my fork, guys. Wow. This is actually not bad. It's one of the better chocolate I've ever had. It definitely, like I was saying, it has that burnt wok taste, which is what you want. That's not a bad thing, that's a great thing. Yeah, that's called a wok hay. A wok hay? Mm hmm. Wok hay. So it does have that almost burny feel in your throat, mm -hmm. which is great. Like the spice, right? It's great. So I like this. This is a winner. It tastes really authentic mm -hmm. to me. I would go as far as to say that one of the better chocolate that I've had in America. In America. I'm, in America. I'm gonna get one of this, another one to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Uh, Okay, okay. Bakute, bakute time. I literally don't know how we're gonna eat this. So the thing with bakute is, I have really high standards for bakute because I'm from Klang. That's where bakute is from. And we have the best bakute in the world in Klang. But let's try this one out. Try the broth first. Decent, very heavy on the white pepper. Oh, that's what that that's, flavor Yeah, that's a, very, very heavy on the white pepper. I think that's kind of how they made it. It's, it's okay. I think <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be very kind here, uh, but I just only had the broth. We want to go in nicely with the rice and everything, and then give a wording. This is probably the most difficult way to eat bakute. It is very tender, though. It looks like yeah. This. So let's try one. It's getting a bit better. The meat tastes good. Again, the broth is not like clang bakute where they where they boil it for hours and hours this is like you know they made it more like 30 minutes maybe I don't know uh, but it's very heavy on the white pepper there's not a lot of herbs it doesn't have that very herbally taste I think if you told me that this was just like a regular soup, like soup I'd be like this is delicious yeah. but comparing it to bakute correct it misses the mark for me I agree so as a just a, as a regular soup pork with rice great but if you're comparing to like bakute, yeah, it maybe no. Compare. Yeah, it doesn't compare. There's no herbal herbalness to it. Let's try it with the donut. Dip it in. 
This is good. Donut's good. Yeah, this is cooked well. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, just perfect. So this is done really well. Again, the only disappointment is the broth. More herbally. Yeah, add more herbs to the broth to make it better. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's enjoy this food. The last and final test I want to do here is the sambal. So in Malaysia, there's a saying, how good a restaurant is, is basically based on how good the sambal in that restaurant is. So... I had never heard you say that ever. Yeah, so that's, that's what a lot of people say. I tend to agree to an extent because the sambal is really, it shows and portrays how they flavor a lot of their things. Okay, I can see that. Sambal. You're just gonna eat it straight like that, not on the bakute? Mmm, not bad. Singapore, not bad, not bad at all. I like this sambal. It's nice, it's not so strong. Yeah, it's really good actually, I, I enjoy this. I'm... Oh, the kick comes after. <laughs> it's great. I think I'm gonna ask more of this actually. That is really good. Yeah, it's good. So, Kilanis, you did great with your sambal, which means that you're a decent restaurant. <laughs> you passed the Logish test. Passed the Malaysia test. <laughs> So we have an actual Singaporean here testing out some of the other kinds of food. So, Sean, hi. Let us know what do you think of, so, of Kilnay's food. So, so we had the laksa, which I thought the broth was pretty good. It's not too thick, you know, but it's it has a coconut creamy gaunus. Nice. nice. Uh, the 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 ice lemon tea unfortunately was a little burnt. So I think they steeped the tea for too long. So it's not really as authentic. Uh, but we also had the Roti Prata, which was uh, pretty good. So I think overall, that's pretty good. But what I will concur with Logash on is oh, that the Chat Mei Jiao was really good and we finished it like in about five minutes. So the only one thing that I would have wanted was the hum for both the laksa and the right. uh, Chat Mei Jiao. But other than that, I think they did a pretty good job. So. There you have it, guys. There you have it from the Singaporean man himself. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I agree with what you say, dude. The Chak Kway Tiao is probably the best I've had in the States. Yep. I don't think I've had any any better Chak Kway Tiao here. Yep, agreed. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was such a fun time. I haven't been to a Kopi Tiam in so long, but just having, being able to like hang out there, just sit down, was so nice. We even got some to go too. <laughs> <sighs> Wow, that felt so good to be able to just date my wife and hang out in a Kopi Tiam for a lunch like this. That felt so refreshing and good. Thank you so much for bringing us out and planning this. I love it. I love it so much. So this is a good surprise. Are you happy? It's a great surprise. Uh, oh, let's let's check out the Liverpool score first. That's the only thing that make this date better is if Liverpool won. Two one. They won! Woo! Okay, that perfect. Great day. Great day. The day cannot get any better. But guys, oh man, I the only thing I wish was if it was old town white coffee. Kopi Tiam. That would have been really nice. But you know, I, I don't want to complain. Kilanese is pretty good. Our feedback is I personally thought that overall the vibe was great. They had some great furniture there that is pretty much like Kopi Tiam style furniture. We didn't get the utensils, plates, you but know. That's because of COVID, so we can't blame them for that. Yeah, it's not it's not Kilanese's fault. The food was decent. It's not great food, you know. The Kopi Tiam was standout. We even got more. Uh, but the bakute was a disappointment, you know, coming from Klang bakute is really no comparison. And the drinks were decent, you know, they were good. I enjoyed it. But overall, I'm just glad we have a Kopi Tiam here. It is about 30, 40 minutes away from our house, but we have the option that we can drive out and still hang out at a Kopi Tiam whenever we want to. So that's great. Yeah, Old Town, if you're watching this, you need to come to America so we have more Kopi Tiams here. We need more Kopi Tiams here, so come out here. Well, that was really fun, but we actually probably should go home to our kids now. Yeah. Yeah, the babysitters can't be there too long. <laughs> so I gotta go. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I don't know, did you like this episode? Just talking about Kilanese and what we enjoyed here. If you like it or you don't like it, leave it down in the comment below. Let us know what you'd like to see more from us. We really appreciate your support. As always, subscribe to the channel. It supports us in making more videos. We love you all. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.